traitor in your midst. Yes, yes, someone near and dear to you. of ICBMs ready for launch. Each ICBM contains large quantities of the killer virus larder, making them intercontinental biochemical missiles. Yes, larder. The purple death. Vaccines and antidotes can't stop it. It's virtually invincible. Four nations have already felt its wrath. Enigma will be able to kill at will. World powers will be rendered helpless. Leaders will renounce everything to stop the pain. Our goal is simple and straightforward. We don't want your worthless money. We are asking for redemption. Retribution. We demand justice. The president must confess his sins and tell the world about Operation Desert Falcon. And for the next century, the U.S. must resign from the U.N. Security Council and sit in the General Assembly. If our demands are not met within 72 hours, the Purple Death will rain down upon your nation. Mr. President, you've been warned.
There is one way out of hell. Repent. Confess your sins. And you will live. now. I leave the dirty work to you. Miss Pleasure. Don't fight. Stand still now. I've arranged a delightful show for you. Something special. Nicholas! Beautiful, isn't it? But... Uh, something missing. No! That's it! Blood! What a sacrifice! Yes! <laughs> you bastard! What did you say? What did you call me? You'll never be forgiven for all your atrocities. In heaven, everyone's forgiven. But he will go to hell. Ha 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 ha! 
To use the 3DA cam, press and hold the triangle button. From the inventory screen, scroll down to equip and select the 3DA cam. Now press and hold the R1 button to look through the viewfinder. Use the left analog stick to move the camera in the direction of the object you wish to view. To zoom in and out, press up and down on the right analog stick. To take someone's picture, continue to hold the R1 button and center the viewfinder on the subject. To capture the clothing data, move the viewfinder until the icon in the lower left-hand corner of the screen turns yellow, indicating that you have a clear shot. Now press the X button to take the picture. To capture the full identity of someone, both clothing and face icons on the viewfinder must be highlighted. Once you have the subject in clear view, press the X button. To disguise yourself, you must first find a location to change in. Such locations include barrels, lockers, trash bins, and any other object identified by a partially open door or lid. Once you have found an area to change in, face the opening, then press and hold the L1 button and your character will enter that object. Once inside the change area, continue to hold the L1 button and the disguise menu will appear. Now move to the desired disguise by scrolling left or right with the left analog stick. Once the disguise is selected, release the L1 button and your character will now exit the location wearing that disguise. There are two ways to remove a disguise. The first is to simply access any changing location, cycle through your disguises, select the SEA seal icon and release the L1 button. Sometimes you may encounter a situation in which there aren't any change locations available or you need to quickly remove your disguise. To rip off your disguise, press and hold the L1 button and quickly toggle the left analog stick. To equip a weapon, press and hold the triangle button. Then with the left analog stick, scroll left or right until you have found the desired weapon. The weapon you stop on will then be equipped upon releasing the triangle button. Once a weapon has been equipped, you can quickly draw or holster your weapon by tapping the triangle button. To use the auto target feature, press and hold the square button, then face the direction of the target to lock on. To fire at the selected target, release the square button. If the target has not been destroyed, repeat this action. Sometimes it may be necessary to shoot around corners or from behind objects. To do so, press and hold the L1 button to crouch, then press forward in the direction of the target. Next, hold down the square button to auto-target and release to fire. To target an enemy at a great distance, use the 3DA cam to zoom in and line up your shot. Access the camera by holding down the triangle button, and then scroll down to select and equip the 3DA cam. Now hold down the R1 button to access the viewfinder. You can zoom in and out by moving the right analog stick up or down. Once the desired target is obtained, press and hold the square button to draw your weapon and release it to fire. During the game, the player has complete control over the camera and can adjust it around their character at any time. To adjust the camera, simply move the right analog stick in any direction. The camera may be adjusted while the player is standing still or moving. To quickly center the camera, tap the R2 button. In some situations, it may be necessary to walk instead of run. To walk, slightly press the left analog stick forward. 
pressing the left analog stick up completely will cause your character to run. To stop moving, release the left analog stick or return it to a neutral position. There are two types of jumps available, a regular jump and a long jump. To perform a regular jump, press the X button. If you perform a jump under a ledge, your character will automatically grab that ledge. To pull yourself up onto the surface, press up on the left analog stick. To perform a long jump, step back from the point you wish to jump, then run towards the target and press the X button. To pull yourself up onto the surface, press up on the left analog stick. If the player is rendered unconscious, a ring of stars will spin above the player's head. To revive your character, quickly toggle the left analog stick until the character gets up and returns to their feet. Your character may crouch at any time by pressing and holding the L1 button. To walk away from the wall and remain crouched, continue to hold the L1 button and then press the L3 button. To perform a forward roll, first crouch by holding the L1 button. Now press forward on the left analog stick and then press the X button. To perform a side roll, crouch, now press left or right on the left analog stick and then press the X button. To perform a backflip, crouch by holding L1. Now quickly press backward on the left analog stick and then press the X button. To creep along a wall, crouch against the wall by holding the L1 button. Then while holding the L1 button, press the left analog stick either left or right to move in that direction. To peek around a corner, Crouch against the wall by holding the L1 button. Now walk to the end of the wall. Once the character has reached the end, continue to hold the left analog stick in that same direction and the character will peek around the corner. You may encounter situations where a non-lethal attack is your best option. To attack an enemy with a punch, press the square button. To perform a punch-kick combo, repeatedly press the square button. Sometimes brawling with an enemy is not your best option, especially when you are trying to go undetected. To choke an enemy, slowly walk up behind them and press the square button. This will grab and choke the enemy. Once the character is knocked out, you can hold the L1 button to use the character as a shield. To release the character, either press the square button to throw the enemy, or release the L1 button to drop the enemy. To access your spy equipment, press and hold the triangle button. The equipment inventory will then appear on screen. The inventory is broken up into four categories. To move from one category to another, press up or down on the left analog stick. Once you have selected the desired category, scroll through the available items by pressing either direction on the left analog stick. To equip an item, scroll through the menu. Once it's in the selection box, release the triangle button. Spider grips may be used in any area with an accessible ceiling. To equip the spider grips, press the triangle button to access the inventory screen. Now cycle through the spy equipment and select the spider grips. To use the spider grips, crouch against the wall holding the L1 button, then press X to jump. Your character will now grip to the ceiling. You may move your character side to side by pressing either direction on the left analog stick. You may also view the area around you by using a first-person perspective by holding R1. Use the right analog stick to view the area in front of your character. To return to the ground, release the L1 button or press the X button to jump off the wall. While using the spider grips, you may still use your weapons. To do so, hold the triangle button to access the inventory screen. Now select the weapon you wish to use. 
To use the weapon, press and hold the square button. This enters the first person view. Now use the left analog stick to aim. When ready, release the square button to fire. The OCT gear allows you to capture the voice pattern of select characters. Characters that may have their voice recorded are indicated by a speech bubble containing an ear icon above their head. To record the subject's voice, you must first take their picture. Once you have photographed the subject, move into listening distance of the person. Now press and hold the L1 button to listen to the subject. Once the subject has finished speaking, you will have successfully recorded their voice. You may now disguise yourself with the subject's complete identity, including their voice data. The stun shaver is a handy device with multiple uses. To equip the stun shaver, select it from your inventory. To use the shaver on an enemy, press and hold the square button to emit an electrical current. The longer the square button is held, the more power the shaver emits. Once the shaver loses power, you must wait until it recharges before using it again. The security tags can be used to clear both your caution meter and your wanted status. The caution and wanted meters are located in the upper left hand corner of the screen. The security tags can only be used if your character is wanted or the game is currently in the caution status. To use the security tags, press and hold the triangle button, then scroll down to event and select the security tags. You must locate one of the security terminals located throughout the level. To initiate clearance, stand in front of the terminal and press the circle button. The caution meter, when in effect, has four levels. Danger, Search, Caution and Safety. In the event that you do not have any security tags, the caution meter will naturally return to safety after a period of time. Also, you can only be checked a limited number of times. This number is indicated by the amount of C icons located under the life meter. The biosensor allows the user to see through their surroundings in order to detect human bio signs. To use the biosensor, select it from your spy equipment inventory, then press and hold the R1 button to operate the device. Manipulate the left analog stick to view the area around you. Release the R1 button to return to the normal view. The minicam is a small camera which can be strategically placed on walls to allow you to spy on an area of your choice. To use the minicam, first select it from your inventory. Once selected, use the left analog stick to adjust where you would like to mount the camera. Then press the square button. Now that the camera is in place, press the R3 button to access the minicam viewfinder. Use the left analog stick to view the area. If multiple cameras have been placed, use the L2 and R2 buttons to cycle between them. You can place and use up to three minicams at any one time. The minicam can also use the 3DA cam's capabilities. Once the minicam is placed, access the viewfinder by pressing the R3 button. Then when you are ready to capture a picture, press the X button. <laughs>